Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel CAT Tutorials for Beginners to Advanced. In this lecture, uh, we will see some of the further uh, sweep types in Katia V5. So, let us start with the shape design. So, shape and then generative shape design here and just click on OK. And now if you uh, if you just click on the uh, sweep option here. So the first type first profile type which is explicit one. So we have already uh, covered this in our previous tutorial. So you can see we have already covered with reference surface with uh, two guide curves and then uh, with the pulling direction. So in this uh, tutorial we are going to discuss about the second uh, profile type that which is a line profile type. And we have uh, several uh, subtypes of this line profile type. The first one is two limits, then limit and middle uh, with reference surface, uh, with reference curve, with tangency surface, with drop direction, with two tangency surfaces. So let's select this uh, two limits in this lecture. So we need to uh, provide the guide curve one and guide curve two uh, for this uh, subtype. So you can see in the diagrammatic representation as well, you can see uh, this is a guide curve one and this is guide curve two. And then uh, we can create a sweep uh, in between these two guide curves with the help of this uh, subtypes. And we have some several apps options uh, that is length one and length two as well as relimiter one, relimiter two in this uh, command. So let's cancel this and uh, we'll see the practical demonstration for this. Let's create the two guide curves. So I will use a position sketch and we'll sketch on the top plane. So adjust this axis. So now I can see uh, my V is pointing towards Y plus direction and then H is on the X plus direction. So now we can we can uh, create one line. Just simply create a line here. And then uh, exit the workbench. So please note, uh, we, we should have this guide course in two different sketches. We cannot create the two guide course in a single sketch. Okay, so let's create one more. I will create one more on the top plane. And then again, I will create a line and just draw this and then exit the workbench. And now we have these two guide course. So you can you can uh, rename these uh, sketches as well. So you can simply go to the uh, properties tab and then you can just change the name here. Uh, you can simply provide the name as a uh, guide curve one or guide curve two like that. So I will uh, make it simple. Uh, I will uh, use the default ones. So now uh, let's use this sweep command. So now we have this guide course ready with us. So simply select guide curve one and then the guide curve two. And then preview after it, you can see uh, the sweep has been created in between these two uh, uh, guide course. And you can see the additional sweep also has been created here. This is of 20 mm. So here uh, we have some leverage here. We can provide the length one and length two. So which will add the sweep on the uh, either of the direction. So currently it is provided on this direction and this direction it is zero. So we can provide it here as well. So you can see this is 60 mm extended. So again, uh, if you uh, expand this uh, sweep here, you can see length one and length two, and you can simply double click on it to change those lengths. So now I will make it to 60. And then similarly for lengths, I will make it to 100. So in this way, you can just edit this lengths uh, without going inside the command here. So now uh, let's uh, see this relimiter one and simply you can you can make it at zero as well. You can just simply uh, remove the lengths here and then preview after it and you can see it will only create in between these two guide curves if the lengths are zero. Again if you see here the length will be zero and you can change this at any point of time. So again double click on it. And then here we'll see the relimiter option. So to create a relimiter, just right click in this uh, no selection uh, field here, right click here, and then you can create a different uh, types of uh, geometry. So, uh, so I will I will use this uh, I will use this create plane again, and then uh, I will select the guide curve here. Just select this guide curve, and then line two. Sorry, 
I will create a point actually. So let's uh, create parallel through point. So here uh, I will select a reference as this one because I want to create a plane which is parallel to this uh, YZ plane. Okay, so uh, create a point here. So you can simply create a midpoint. So if you if you just select a midpoint and then you can simply select a line here, it will create a midpoint and will create a plane at that midpoint section. If you don't want it, you can just simply uh, create a point or maybe you can edit the point and you can just uh, change this ratio. So let's say if you want to create at 0 0.75 and then you, you can see this is shifted to 0 0.7 okay and then click on ok and then you can just preview it so you can see the uh, sweep has been created in between this origin plane and the relimiter one plane plane just click on ok again you can see uh, the uh, under the sweep you can see the plane and if you just double click on it you will see the ratio here you can change that as well and as also you can directly uh, click on the ratio here and you can change it and you can see the the sweep gets, gets adjusted based on that ratio just double click on it and now we will see the relimiter 2 and again if you want to just uh, create one more uh, then you can simply uh, create one so again I will provide the reference here and then point again I will create a let's say uh, create point here and then on this edge will create a point. So I will make it to 0 0.3 and then click on OK. Just click on OK and again preview it you can see the surface the sweep has been created in between these two relimiters relimiter 1 and relimiter 2 now and just click on OK. Again uh, here uh, you can change the uh, dimension for this uh, plane 2 as well. Let's say if you want, you want to change it to 0 0.15 then it will change. Just double click on this tree it will be enabled 0 0.1, 0 0.1 and then you can see the sweep has been updated based on that ratio. Again we will see some more options here. So now here, here you can see let me change this so here there is one more option that is second curve as a middle curve so if you want to make this second curve as a middle curve you can just check this option and if you just click on the preview you will see the guide curve is right in the middle now so the, the distance from here from this curve to this curve and then from this curve to this edge is same because the guide curve is come to the middle now with this option just click on ok and you can see uh, this is this second guide core is in the middle so we have uh, one more option one more uh, command actually uh, to uh, use uh, to make the guide core in the middle so if you see this one this is the limit limit and the middle so it will automatically uh, change this whenever we uh, second when we change this second core as a middle core just click on it it will it, it will turn into the limit and middle so this is the option we have so that's it for this video i think uh, we will create uh, will uh, again check this uh, limit and middle uh, the, the rest of the uh, uh, types in the upcoming lectures just close this so just keep in remember uh, for this option uh, to use we need to have uh, two guide course guide curve one and guide curve two which we have created here and then uh, keep in mind that uh, this this uh, command is only uh, be useful only be useful for the linear transformation and not for the curvature geometrics geometries and then we can we can just simply uh, extend the lengths here we can have the lengths which we can extend uh, from this to this uh, from, from both the sides actually and also we have we have one option here in the sweep uh, with which we can just uh, make this second curve as in the middle and uh, and uh, whenever we do it the subtype ha subtype gets changed to limit and middle just uncheck it here now and then i will click on the okay so now thank you so much for watching this video hope you have enjoyed watching it please do subscribe our youtube channel for such more videos if you have any any queries any any doubts you can uh, just uh, mention in the comments comment section uh, below so thank you so much